As we all know, ESPN put out a top 100 NBA players of all time list about a month to a month and a half ago. So today we are going to take a look at the top 13 players and see if this team can go 82-0 in today's NBA. Now what I did was I put every single player on the 95-96 Bulls since Michael Jordan was at the top of the list and that is the best MJ in the game and probably one of the best teams in the game. So all of the players are actually in order besides the starting five because obviously Magic was not number one on that list. But the bench, 6 through 13, those are the rankings of basically the top players of all time. So taking a look at the simulation, I decided to speed this up for good reason, all right? I wasn't about to sit here and commentate over three minutes of simulating when we went ahead and basically won every single game to start out the season going into the all-star break we're 52 and 0 which proves to be great for our chances to go 82 and 0 on the season and i keyed it i i keyed it on two games in particular this game we won, we won by 52 and then i think in the hawks game we won by 60 something points obviously taking a look at these standings we are the number one team in the eastern conference the Cavs are second and they are 17 games behind us. So now we take a look at all of the stats on the year. And our highest score is Magic Johnson averaging 16 and a half points per game. You can see the rest of everybody's points per game and rebounds and assists. I'm going to basically just go to rebounds and then sort it like you are going to see right here. Rebounds. Will Chamberlain is the leading rebounder on this team with seven and a half boards. And basically for these players, I decided to use the best version of that player in the game. So LeBron, his Miami Heat version is the best version of him in the game. So I decided to use him. Larry Bird, there's only one. Jerry West, I used the top overall. Basically, I used the top overall players from, from, from the game, really. And I just put them on this team. And, you know, let's just see what happens in the second half of the season. The turnovers is what I was really amazed about. Our leading turnover person was Magic Johnson, and he was only averaging 1.1 turnover per game, which means that we were probably the least turnover team in the NBA. We had the least amount of turnovers, which would be absolutely crazy impressive. And then right here, I just went to show you guys who has actually scored the most points, rebounded the most rebounded, rebounded the most rebounds, and got in the most assists, all that stuff. But we have no players that are gonna win any awards so just a plot twist and spoiler no players win an award which is actually kind of surprising so here we are simulating we are 61 and 0 and we end up losing our first game of the year and then our second game to the spurs and the raptors and me being stupid i didn't even realize that we lost because i thought that this team was going to go 82 and 0 it took 40 points from Kawhi leonard for the Spurs to beat us by three points. And then for the Raptors, as you see, we shot 40% from the field, but 79% from the free throw line. And then for the Raptors, it took Kyle Lowry's 39 points, eight boards, and eight assists to beat us by five points. We did not shoot well from three at all, but then again, we don't have too many great three-point shooters, really. It's just Larry Bird and maybe even Michael Jordan if his 95-96 version can actually hit threes. We ended up going 80-2 and two on the year. And like I said, none of our players won an award except for our coach who wins the coach of the year. 99 overall. Well, the team overall, 99 offense and 99 defense. Now, this was also pretty surprising. No player of, of ours made an all-rookie team, an all-defensive team, or an all-NBA team. I found that to be pretty surprising. I thought that at least one player or two players, three players maybe, would make one of those teams, but that definitely was not the case. As you see, obviously we are atop of the Eastern Conference with a record of 80-2. and two. Magic Johnson is still the leading points per game getter on the team with Bill Russell being the last, but then again, I think he wasn't really getting a whole lot of minutes. Like, with the minutes, I just wanted to make them even, but I couldn't make the starters minutes even and then the bench minutes even i don't know it was weird i kind of just messed around with the minutes i mean we went 80 and 2 anyway so 
I mean, it's kind of a success because we had the best record in NBA history, but obviously 82-0 was the goal. Honestly, if this team, you know, came together and played a full 82-game season with a full 16-game playoffs, this team would obviously go 82-0 in real life, but 2K is wacky, 2K is weird, and they like to make some crazy things happen. One thing that I was pretty surprised about was Oscar Robertson was actually leading in three-point percentage. I'm not sure if his player in the game can actually shoot threes. Don't quote me on that. I mean, I have no idea. And look at this, man. We made it to the NBA Finals with ease. We went 12-0. Now we are 14-0, 15-0 going into game number four in Oklahoma City. I kind of wish that we were playing the Warriors in the Finals because that would have been probably a little bit closer, even though... This series was not close whatsoever. As you see, we are up by 16 points in Game 7. The stats for both teams right here. And then the team comparison. We actually... Yeah, look at this. Kevin Durant, 47 points, man. 47 points from Kevin Durant. Abdul Jabbar in at the center. Oh, and it's over. The Chicago Bulls are the new NBA champions. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that comes with winning it all. And Clark, you have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer. So there you go, man. That was the championship celebration. Kevin Durant's 47 points was not enough for the Oklahoma City Thunder to really make it close. I mean, yes, it was a 16-point deficit for them, but really they weren't in it whatsoever. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Let me know down in the comments section which big three you would, you would like to see next. I know that this wasn't necessarily a, a big three. It was like 3 a.m. on Saturday, and I got this idea in my head. So I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace.